Hilleberg Janu, first impressions. Took a risk and uh, here's another Hilleberg for the North 61 family. Why Hilleberg? Uh, these are supposed to be great tents. We've got a, a Caron 4, Caron 4. I really like the, how it's built. Uh, two years ago, I went uh, on a sheep hunt with my son and we got really good weather. And on both ends of that trip, we ended up uh, waiting for the plane in, in a terrible storm. One time we had a three uh, season tent. It was so cold in there, the boy just about died. <laughs> We're going crazy. And because uh, the wind blowed right through the, blue would blow right through the tent because it's got all that mesh. Plus the mesh started to separate from the enormous winds. And we were very lucky because we had a three pound tent up on the hill and it snowed one time and it would have been really uncomfortable. So this is a Janu, it's second hand. Let's see what kind of shape it's in. Tent looks like it's a good shape. Floor is dirty. Looks like they pitched it in sand and didn't uh, look after it. And uh, we rescued it from a moron because look what they did to one of these great poles. How do you even do that to these DAC poles? You have to really work at that to bend a pole like that. Uh, fortunately, uh, there is an extra pole in the set. So I'll be able to replace that pole that this one. And I also think I have to uh, put new shock cord in. That shock cord seems to be screwy, and there's a bend here too. So I'm gonna have to get another pole from Hilleberg. Should never ever happen. This is an example of people that don't know what they're doing. However, the great thing about owning a Hilleberg is that they stand behind their stuff and they'll be able to get new pole sections and get this as good as new, but it's terrible. So it's very intuitive. That's red, and this one is red. So that's the first pole. Over here, this one is black. Check it up here with these clips. Clips are in good shape. taut. Looks good. Very, very taut. There it is. And there's your bed cover. Thanks, Jane. You helped a lot. You're welcome. I was getting that wrong. <laughs> I was getting pretty cocky there. Well, it's just one little error, and the whole thing was askew. Well, I think that's what maybe happened when people put it up, is they forced the poles. Ah. You can't force this stuff. Well, one of the things I really liked about this is this vestibule. And despite the fact that it was in dirt, the zippers are still going really well. This vestibule is usable in a number of ways. Oh, and it's got all sorts of ways of configuring it. So there's one way. Come on in. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's very Oh, good. it's bright and lovely inside. And check this out. This is my favorite feature. That's all venting. Oh. So this is a very, they've got a very good uh, reputation for staying dry. Okay, hang on, I'll turn off the camera and I'll come in. Yeah. Hello. I'm 6'3 with a ridiculously long back, like a 23 inch pack frame back. And I can s basically sit up in it, but no more than that. It's only 39 inches high. It's a small tent, but it's it's big enough for two. Yep. And it's wider here at, the, at this end. Yep. Narrower at that end. It's made as small as possible 
for it to be very wind steady. I'm surprised how steady it is. That third crossing pole and the tension on it. And you can put the tension on it because of the really strong fabric. It's really, really good. And with this cross ventilation, with this door open, with the vent, with the uh, basically the fly material uh, closed up and just the mosquito netting, you'll get the mosquito netting air plus the air through this vent here. I think it's going to be really good. One of the most important pieces of survival gear that you bring is your tent. So this Hilleberg Janu uh, for seven pounds is uh, quite a package of assurance. So I'll certainly be packing it in September and October, maybe not in August, uh, depending on the trip, but I think it's worth the extra four pounds. It's a seven pound package, really strong. I'm really impressed with it. So we'll uh, give it some use and tell you how it worked.